Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of the NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series here on Pichu London. We're here live at Daytona International Speedway for the running of the Daytona, fought the third annual Daytona 500. Season 1 it was Pichu, won the pole and dominated this race and dominated the first one to win. And then the second season, John Radican wins in a wild wreck fest finish. What will this season bring? We're about to find out as a new season of the Pokemon Cup series begins with a bang. A lot of several several fresh faces and a lot of new drivers also as well. We'll introduce to every single one of them and the starting lineup. First up we'll start with our pole setter, the 83 of Kenny Bale, one of the one of the BK racing duos here today. And he's a rookie here in this series and it's really impressive to see him in the pole. It looks, prom it looks promising. On the outside, you know him, is the 99 of Pichu. Pichu! You know him already. <laughs> no introduction. Starting third is our defending champion, Season 2's defending champion, Aaron Williams in the 48. He's back for more. And starting fourth is the 42 of Diego Ospina. And now this guy was the runner-up of the Mobile One Cup Series to Pichu London by one point in the NNSCRA channel. And he's definitely looking for revenge. He's looking to win this title away. We'll see what happens. Starting in fifth was last year's runner-up in the Daytona 500, Charles Sanfer in New Ride 27. He looks to win a Daytona 500. And he's really off to a good start with a good starting position. Starting six is going to be the 22 of Abby Sachs. You know him already. He's the champion of the HTFRA 90s Cup Series and the champion of the WSCT Prudential IndyCar Series Season 2. He's looking to add another, another championship to his resume. And this is the big one. He's looking to do that. Starting in seventh is the 11 of Trevor Harvey, a new driver here in the series, a rookie this season. He's looking to make a huge, huge impact. Starting 8th is the 16 of Alan Smith, one of two Smiths in the field. He's also a rookie as well. Starting 9th is Kenny Bale's teammate and sister of the legendary Seth Cole, Mary Cole in the 93. This is her first season in the Pokemon Cup series and she looks to make the most of it. And starting 10th, is going to be the two of Ryan Acosta. He's back this season, he's back again, and he's now in a new ride in the two. He looks to make a big impact. Starting 11th is a new rookie, the number four of James Shelley, a newcomer in the series. It's fun to watch. Starting 12th is going to be the six of Zach Flickinger, one of two Flickingers in this series. You'll get to see on the other Flickinger later, but here's Zach Flickinger. And he was an impressive running in the IndyCar and F1 series. He's taking his talents over the Pokemon Cup series. See what that happens. Starting 13th is the 14 of Austin Ogo. Austin Ogo, you know him already. And now he's finally in the Pokemon Cup series. He's now in the elusive 14 who came runner-up to Aaron Williams. We'll see if more luck happens in the 14. Starting 14th is the brother of defending champion Aaron Williams Justin Williams in the 25 and that's n there's not going to be any brotherly love against them in this series at all easily I could tell I could tell easily so starting 15th is the 56 of Tim Fralick first ever first TA2 series in a while and he's we're glad to have him back this season he's looking to come out of retirement mini retirement and show his stuff. Starting 16th is the unrelated to Aaron Williams, the 33 of Nicole Williams. Nicole Williams in the 33, and he's, she's actually the sister of Jake Williams, which you will see later. Um, not is not related at all to Aaron Williams nor Justin Williams. We're just gonna have a ton of Williams in this in this field. So Nicole takes over from Matt McMurray, the the, fend, the season one champion who's been on that ride for the last two seasons and now he is not McMurray's not even in this field so but he'll probably you'll probably see him once or twice soon you'll see maybe 
Anyway, starting in 18th and 17th, I mean, is the Sporty 4 of Emma White, another Napa car, another rookie. And starting 18th is 07 of Rod Houston, the, the WSCT MetLife F1 Series champion. He's taken his skills over to the stock cars of the Pokemon Cup. Starting 19th is the 20 of Jake Williams. Now there was talk that there, there was a bit of talk, by the way, that J, that um, Jake Williams wants to swap with Marshall Race in his ride. But um, hope, well, we'll we don't know if the rumors are true now. But there are rumors that Jake Williams could swap his ride with Marshall Race after this race. But we don't know if that's confirmed. So, by the way, anyway, Jake Williams, you know him, the native. You know him already from the F1 series and IndyCar. He's back this season. No, he's not back. He's a rookie this season. Starting in 20th, I think, is the 51 of Jacob Lawler, who's on this same ride. The same ride I think he had last year. Wow. So, one of the few drivers returning in, his, in the same ride he has, like, from last season. So, he's looking to make the most. Starting the 21st spot is the 88 of Derek Noel, a new driver this series, a new rookie. And starting 22nd is the 29 of Dylan Young, the NRSL president, so to speak. And now he's taking his skills over to the, to the um, Pokemon Cup series. Starting 23rd is the 17 of Mason Wood. You heard Mason Wood already, he's back from last season. He's in a new car, so he's looking to make the most, as always. And starting 24th, the other Flickinger, Bill Flickinger, the brother of, of Zach Flickinger. He's also a rookie this season. Starting 25th is the 55 of Joey Murphy. Joey Murphy's another rookie in this season, and he's in the Dream Machine 55 this year. And starting 26 is the defending in Daytona 500 winner, John Radican in the 5. He drove the 36 Ollies to Victory Lane, remember that? Now he's in a bigger sponsored Farmers Insurance 5 for this season. And he's hoping that, unlike last year, that his Daytona 500 would not be his, own, would not, would be his only victory, but he's looking to get more this season. But we'll have to wait and see. Starting 27th is the 43 of Steve Pollard, one of two Pollards in the field in the legendary 43 car. And starting in 28th is the newcomer Ryan Richards in the one. Heard him a lot, but you've never heard him in this series before. He's in his first time. Starting 29th is the 31 of Jean Sanford, the sister of Charles Sanford. She's actually in the very same number she had in the MLP Cup Series Season 2. Now she's moved up to the Pokemon Cup Series and looks to make the most of the opportunity. Starting 30th is the 9 of Rohit Vedarbu. You know him already, but this is probably this is his second season in the Pokemon Cup Series. So we're excited to have him. Starting 31st is the 18, John McNamara, another driver who's in the same number as his MLP Cup Series Season 2 ride. Now he's in the elusive 18 and looks to make and looks to give m and some victory, some wins this season. Starting 32nd is the 3 of Leia Walker. You know her already. Starting 33rd is the NNSCRA's founding father, the 13 of Seth Cole and his favorite ride in this season. So he's back again for his third straight season and looks to get a win like last year. Starting the 34th is the 24 of Dom Caps. Dom Caps is back, folks. And, um, yeah. Starting 35th is the 98 of Stephen Pollard III, the other Pollard. Those Pollards have been really tough as of late in the past series, and now they're showing their strength to the Pokemon Cup series. Starting 36th is the 26, Luke Walker. You know him already. Starting 38th is the 21, Jordan Davis, another rookie, and, well... He's back for his second straight season. He got shut out of wins last season in the 38 car last season. But now he's moved to 21. He's looking to have a brighter, brighter season this, this year. Starting 37th, I forgot to mention, is the third 78 of Chris Dollarton. He's back this season the same ride in the 78. 
and starting 39th, if I could get to there, starting 39th is a 47 Samuel Ogo, the other Ogo in the field. And um, he's now in the now in the um, good 47, so he's looking to make. You probably know what I'm saying. I'm gonna say next. Starting 40th is the 10 of Marshall Race, formerly known Marshall Rich. Now he's known as Marshall Race. Rumors are swirling around that Jake Williams and Marshall Race could swap rides after this race. Again, it hasn't been confirmed yet until after, but we will have to wait. Starting 41st is the 39, Jake Smith, returning, and he's, I think, a rookie here, the brother of Alan Smith. And starting in the 42nd and final spot is Lily Erickson in the 15. She was runner-up to D-Clan Cave in the INRL Benihana Tournament, and now she's in the 15 this season, the Pokemon Cup Series. She doesn't have to worry about the caves anymore, as they're not in this series, but we might see their names probably pop up somewhere soon I'm not sure but it's highly unlikely though but we'll see and that's your entire Pokemon Cup series field and finally after a lot of waiting we're finally gonna get underway this in season three. Oh, I am so so excited here we go without further ado for the first time this season let's hear those famous words in motorsports drivers start your engines And the cars are rolling for the first time this season. We're using the we're using the Gen 6 Boren 13 mod, which is going to be very very exciting. I heard these cars run fast and elite. So, we hope to see that this season. The first of 40 races plus three playoff races at the end of those 40 regular season races. And it all begins here at Daytona. Who will be the third annual Daytona 500 winner? And who will be the first winner of season three? This year it's 30 laps here at Daytona to decide it. So a lot more is at stake. And the pace car comes out. Here we go. They'll be approaching the green flag. And the green flag is out. The Daytona 500 and the NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series Season 3 is underway. And right off the bat, they're going three wide. This is actually the original Daytona, the original Cup Daytona track. So, highly unusual to see a three wide battle like this to start off. So they have to be very careful now. And already the caution is out for the first time today. But here comes Pichu. He's looking to become the first leader of the first lap this season. Here comes Charles Sanford getting help from Mary Cole. Here they come to the final stripe. Does the 27 have enough time to the stripe? Under caution it's going to be a three wide battle and Pichu has won that battle. But it's only the first lap and of many. Only the first of many though. So, well, yeah. Dom Caps, John McNamara, Dylan Young, Zach Flickinger, James Shelley, Ryan Richards, Luke Walker, Rod Houston. A lot of drivers wrecked. The, probably the worst of them all was Dom Caps. Not a great way to start this season. And he would like to take it back. Well, we've had the big one. For, I think we've had the big one. And who? And there's no penalties for causing a wreck, unlike the IndyCar and F1. So you don't have to worry. But, well, they try to keep it smooth and, yeah, didn't work out for them. So here's, a, it all started with Justin Williams, the brother of defending champion Aaron Williams, clipping Zach Flickinger. James Shelley gets hit, then Rod Houston tries avoiding it, he does get damaged later. And then they both spin later, the 29 Dylan Young gets clipped as well, the 39 Jake Smith, then McNamara and Seth Cole get held up, and Leia Walker, these guys I think might have gotten damaged. 
John Radican might have been involved. There goes his chance for a second straight Daytona 500. Probably. And Dom Caps, where did he get hit? How did he get hit so hard? Oh, he got hit by John. He got hit by John McNamara. Ouch. Hard hit for the 24. It's already the first lap, first wreck, first caution. And it has taken some of the some drivers out in the field. Pretty damn weird. Now let's see if anybody retired from this race. And we just got word Tim Fralick has retired. James Shelley, Justin Williams, Gene Sanford, Jake Smith, Leo Walker, Luke Walker, Ryan Richards, John McNamara, and Dom Caps have retired. And all of them suffered damage from the first caution, so already we lost a chunk of the field on the very first lap. How unusual is that? Only 29 cars are left, and Radican still, still is racing in the 29th spot. With damage he suffered, it's highly unlikely, though, he will re repeat his success in the Daytona 500. Nope, it's not likely. He has already damaged. And now we're going to get back under green here in the Daytona 500. And Pichu is your leader. You start on the outside of front row. He's come up to first place somewhat. He already won the Daytona 500 back from Season 1, the very first NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series race. Back when it was then, it was known as the Pichu Series. Yeah, I, yeah, that was probably the worst idea for a name ever. <laughs> but now it's the Pokemon Cup Series, so I'm happy for that. And everyone gets a fair shot now. Everyone's at 100 ratings. It's going to be intense. So here you go, Pichu, Charles Sanford, Mary Cole... Kenny Bale and Trevor Harvey make up your top five as we get back under green at Daytona. And all and BK Racing is not really doing a good is not really helping each other as the 83 wants to get to first place again. And here comes Charles Sanford for the lead. It's Charles Sanford trying to gain up. And look at Abby Sachs go. Abby Sachs out of nowhere. He's trying to make a move for the top five spot. And good drafting help for 27 will give him the lead. Or will it? Here comes Trevor Harvey. Trevor Harvey's looking to make a big move on the 27. Oh, and they spin into the 22. Abby Sachs gets into Pichu. A big wreck happens, and the 22 flips. Wow, I never, I have never thought we'd have a wreck near the start finish line. Ooh, and a lot of drivers got hit. I think the, only the top five made it through. How unusual. They're going to race it to the line. They've already taken the stripe when the caution came out, so they're going to race it to the line anyway. Here comes Trevor, Charles Sanford, does he have enough against Trevor Harvey? And there's Nicole Williams and Alan Smith down the stripe, I don't think it'll be enough, and Trevor Harvey will lead us to the caution. Wow, what a stunning turn of events as we see Abby Sachs spawn near the start finish line and took Pichu along with it, and those chances of the Daytona 500 victory are done. And this happened in the start finish line, which I never thought would happen in a million years. So here's what happened. There you see Pichu and oh, Pichu got too loose, and then Kenny Bale gets into Pichu. He takes out Abby Sachs. Abby Sachs gets then clipped by Emma White, and then a big wreck happens. Aaron Williams spun. There's the 17. Oh, wow, and Sachs flips over a couple times. There's the two. Oh, and the 15 just made it through, but not the nine. The nine didn't. The ones involved, Joey Murphy. Oh, Pichu clipped John Radigan around, and so does Seth Cole. And there's Aaron Williams involved. Ryan Acosta is hit. Joey Murphy. Jacob Lawler. 
Mason Wood, Rohit Vedarvu, may, uh, might have been damaged from Samuel Logo. A lot of big names out on this wreck already. We have not reached the 10th the tenth lap this race. How did Seth Cole get hit? Oh, clipped by Emma White. He got clipped by Emma White. And how did Jacob Waller spun there? Mm, oh, 78 might have pushed him down. 78 might have pushed him down. There's Dylan Young, Mason Wood, Marshall Race might have gotten damage. Yikes. Wow. And there's that's the only that's the lot of the field as we're wrecked out. We'll see how many drivers wrecked. Already Mason Ward, Ryan Acosta, Aaron Williams, Rohit Bay Darbu, Seth Cole, John Radican, Abby Sachs, Pichu, uh, Tim Fralick, Rod Houston, James Shelley, Justin Williams, Zach Flickinger, and Steve Pollard have retired. Oh, and Gene Sanford, forgot to mention, is also retired. So only 20 drivers left in the Daytona 500, and we haven't even gotten to the, um, we even, we even, even, re we haven't even reached halfway yet. Wow. How interesting is this? We have not reached halfway. We only have half the field remaining. Oh, it's going to get crazy. It's going to get really crazy. So we're expecting another wreck fest. The green is out. I apologize for starting a little bit late. Whoops. Trevor Harvey, your leader. Then Charles Sanford, Derek Noel, Diego Espina, and Jake Williams make up your top five. And here comes Derek Noel. And there is already a caution out already. And, oh, Bill Flickinger, Lawler, Lily Erickson might have wrecked out. We'll get to that later. Oh, no, and the 27 gets clipped by Noel. He saved it. What a save by the 27. They both saved it. Amazing. They almost spun and they saved it. What a save by both those drivers. And it's a race to the stripe to third. And the 27 actually got third. He almost spun, and he saved it, and he stills in the top five. What a save by the team. Wow. But unfortunately, some of these guys wish they could have saved it, but didn't. Let's see what happened back there. Oh, Lily Erickson got clipped over by, I think, Alan Smith. And then Jake Williams, Mason, and the 55, Joey Murphy spun. The 7 is clipped. Mary Cole gets a piece. Bill Flickinger is clipped. Chris Dollarton, Joey Murphy, Jacob Lawler spun. Mary Cole might have gotten damage on. Yeah, Alan Smith did get damage from there. Ouch. Wow. These guys, these guys couldn't stop wrecking. But what about that? How about that save by Charles Sanford? Forgot to show it to you. How about that save by Sanford? He almost got spun by Jake Williams on down the apron. Somewhat saved by Derek Noel, I mean. Oh no, maybe Diego Espina. Here it is again. Look at this. There's Espina clipping Williams. Hits Derek Noel onto the apron. Keeps his footing and saved it. As Noel had to avoid it on down the yellow line. And he was forced down so they wouldn't penalize him, by the way. And look at this battle between three wide. Yet he was able to keep full speed and yet he was able to compete with them for third. And there you see it was a very close race to the stripe for third. And you see to the start finish line. Imagine if this was the finish. Probably would have been the best finish ever. Look at this. Sanford ekes out the 33 and 20 by just a nose. Wow. That was an amazing save by the 27 and the four and the 42. You gotta give credit to them. They avoided a possible wreck. That was an amazing save. Let's go on board with Diego Espina. with 
Charles Sandfur. on board now with Derek Noel. Now let's go on board with Jake Williams who saw it all. Wow. What just happened? How did Nicole Williams get the lead? Oh, I think they might have done pit stops. They did pit stops. Yep, they have done pit stops. And Nicole Williams came out first. Off the pack. Okay, so... While we show replays, they've done pit stops and they say... No, it's Ospina that's leading. And oh no, Diego Ospina has to pit! Diego Espina has to pin and we just saw him avoid a wreck with Jake White with the 27 and unfortunately took more damage than we thought. And Ospina had to go to pits again. What a tough break for him in the 42. So close to making it a, mir a miracle, but he just couldn't do it. And we got Ward Dollarton, Erickson, and Lawler have retired and Flickinger have retired. Nicole Williams, your leader, after pit stops. Austin Ogo is second, Trevor Harvey third, Kenny Bales fourth, and Jake Williams fifth. And the green flag is out again here at the Daytona 500. Trevor Harvey looks to make the battle for the lead between, looks for a battle for second. Where is the 27, by the way? Uh-oh, someone's on the apron. There's Sanford, and he was he's now in 11. And here comes Trev Harvey. Trevor Harvey looks to make the move for the lead. And Trevor Harvey has the lead. And hold on, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that, I apologize. I apologize for that. Now it's still all about Trevor Harvey with this field being less and less, growing less and less. It's, well, it's getting easier for these teams to uh, battle each other without the distractions of the other drivers. Now we'll have 12 to go here in the Daytona 500. Only four drivers eligible to compete. And here comes the 14 of Austin Ogo. Nicole Williams and his brother and his brother, her brother Jake Williams in contention. Derek Noel, look at him gaining ground. Now Spina's back in six despite having to pit for damage. And look at this, the 11 is pulling away. Trevor Harvey pulling away. This is his very first Pokemon Cup Series race. And imagine if he could get a Daytona 500 victory. This is also Nicole's first race in the Pokemon si in the series. And so is Noel and Williams. So a lot of one of these guys, or maybe even Austin Ogo, could even win this race. 11 to go here at Daytona. Nicole Williams is 
caught up with the 11 looking to make a move that is the same car that Matt McMurray drove to a championship in season one and season two he didn't get a single win but Nicole Williams trying to end the 33's losing streak and finally give that team a win they've waited two seasons for Looking to lead the 33 to a second title on the team with a new coat of, coat of paint. 10 to go in the Daytona 500. Derek Noel is looking to become a big impact as well. Now they're three wide battling for the lead. Oh boy. Derek Noel for the lead. And he was on the slowest pace of all the cars. He's looking to make a big, big Cinderella comeback. But Jake Williams, though, has got the bottom preferred line. He's got the preferred bottom. Now they're forcing three wide for second, and they already spin. Noel spins. Derek Noel spins. Nicole Williams is hit to the wall, and only three, and then they were three. They all made it out through the caution. The caution will be out. We'll have a couple more laps left, and decider Daytona 500 winner, Jake Williams, leads to the line. Tough break for the 88 and the 33. They got together. They spun on the wall. Wow. So here it is again. There you see the 88 and the 33 battling for the lead. And then Nicole Williams gets into the wall and then takes the 88 with her. And look at Williams just barely avoiding the wreck. They wrecked out, they would have been disastrous. And the other slower cars would have actually had a shot to win the Daytona 500. He did kind of save it, but it was more than enough to bring a caution, unless if there was another wreck. There might have been another wreck, actually, that caused the caution in the first place. No. It was Noel's spin that did cause the wreck. Oh, what heartbreak for the 33 and 88 running in the top two and then they both spun and clip each other, ending their dreams of Daytona glory. Maybe. Nicole's in fifth and Noel is 11th, but both have damage, so it's going to be highly unlikely they would make a comeback. Only 16 drivers in this race, but very few have a shot to win it here because not because they have damage. Five to go here in Daytona 500. The next caution ends the race. That's right, the next caution ends the race. Jake Williams, Austin Ogo, Trevor Harvey in contention. Diego Speed and Nicole Williams make up your rest of the top five. I don't know, it'll be a long shot for them to make a comeback here, but we'll see. Green is out in Daytona 500 with five to go. Uh oh, they're already going three wide. This doesn't look good. Doesn't look good. Trevor Harvey did not get a good start. That's not a good. That's not good. There you see they're back to the top four, separating from the damaged cars already. Now Jake Williams with the with the um will finish his, with the good ride he's having. He might not be switching right and he got clipped! Harvey gets loose and gets to the leader and Ospina spins! They save it both! Oh my goodness! They both clip each other and the leader is Trevor Harvey! I am surprised they did not wreck out! Can you believe they did not wreck out? Oh my goodness! We are still green! Unbelievable, we are still green! Someone already is in the 47 is in the apron! Wow! Trevor Harvey out of nowhere is your leader! And Charles Sanford behind second with one second lead! Unless if Harvey screws up! Might be a big shot! But the faster cars are trying to make a big impact! And now Sanford's closing in on Trevor Harvey! Or is he? No, I think these guys are closing in on Sanford. Three to go for Trevor Harvey. That was an amazing, amazing turn of events. They all got loose and clip each other. 
Oh my goodness. And we're hosting this in the second round for the playoffs. So if you think that was pretty bad, wait till you see the other race. Three to go. And there you go. Ospina and Sanford have caught up. Sanford's damaging. Little hope for him to catch up unless of Harvey screws. Now the faster cars are gaining up on the 11. This could be interesting. And oh, Sanford gets clipped at the wall. They save it both. No, the caution is out. No, it's not. No caution is out. We're still green. Trevor Harvey has a comfortable lead. Sanford somewhat saved it in second. But Alan Smith is going to gain up on him and probably pass him with two to go. At just 100 miles per hour, he's still leading. Oh, and guess who's in the picture now? Oh, it's the 21 of Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis, can he hang on for a top five? They're doing everything he can to catch up to the 11 team. Frantically doing everything. There you see the faster Oakland, the 14 helping in the draft. Three wide battle. But the white flag will be out for Trevor Harvey with one to go. He's not pinning. We're still green. We're going to race it to the line. One lap to go for the 11 of Trevor Harvey. And you see the race second is now Jordan Davis. Now caught up to the, to the 11. Will they be able to have enough time to make a move? Now Ogo wants him, wants the 14. Jordan Davis gets loose. They get speed, they gain up on him. Oh no, here comes the 21 of Jordan Davis. Can Jordan Davis make a move win? He's making the pass. Austin Ogo with a fast car. And he passes Harvey. Now Ogo has a chance. Oh boy, this is gonna be a miracle if he keeps it up. And off the final turn, against all odds with damage in his car, Jordan Davis wins the Daytona 500. Jordan Davis, despite a damaged car, he gets up on front and wins the Daytona 500 in a stunning fashion. He's waited two seasons for this. He's finally gotten his first ever Pokemon Cup Series win. In a stunning fashion, Trevor Harvey was leading and then gets passed when the faster Ogo Helped him out in the draft. Oh my goodness. It's Jordan Davis winning the Daytona 500 in a stunning fashion. One of the most stunning you'll ever see. Oh man. And your top 10, Jordan Davis, Austin Ogo, Trevor Harvey, Nicole Williams, Dylan Young. Mary Cole, Alan Smith, Diego Spina, Charles Sanford, and Kenny Bale, the top 10. And here's the rest of the field they wrecked out. Wow. Congratulations to Jordan Davis on an impressive victory. Wow. Under, uh, against all odds, he takes the win in the Daytona 500. The next race is at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, folks. Coca-Cola Super Speedway is next, and that's going to be even more intense. So, hope you guys stick around, and in a stunt, hope you guys stick around. So, see you all later. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys at Coca-Cola. Take care, everybody.